Second constraint is greater than or equal to 3. Greater than or equal to means it is above the region. So here there is no common point connected to each other. Using this three corner points, we can find the minimum value of this solution. Hello everyone, welcome back to my new session. I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyashram College, Mysore. In my last session, I have discussed some special cases in LPP by graphical method. So today, I will continue the graphical method problems. So first problem is, solve the following LPP by graphical method. This is minimization problem again. Here, we have two different constraints. One is less than or equal to and second one is greater than or equal to. So first, you have to convert this into standard form x plus y is equal to 1 put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 so points are 0 comma 1 and b is put y is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 so 1 comma 0 and the second constraint is x plus y is equal to this is equation number 2 and this is equation number 1 so put x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3. So point C is 0 comma 3 and put y is equal to 0, x is equal to 3, 3 comma 0. We have two constraints here. So now let's see the graph x axis and y axis. So maximum value is 3. I'll take 1, 2, 3, 5. So first point is 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 3, 3, 0. 0, 1 and 1, 0. This is my first constraint. And the second constraint is 0, 3, 3, 0. 0, 3 and 3, 0. Connect these two points now. So now you just observe this. We have we have two different constraints. First constraint is less than or equal to 1. Less than or equal to 1 means below the region. Below the region. That means towards the origin. And second constraint is greater than or equal to 3. Greater than or equal to means it is above the region that means opposite to this origin this is origin opposite to this origin means it is above the constraint here there is no common region generated for this constraints so there is no feasible region so here we don't have any feasible solution no feasible region so in this problem we didn't get any feasible region this is another case in LPP. The next problem is, it is minimization problem. Again, convert this into standard form. So, first equation is 2x plus 3y is equal to 1200. Put x is equal to 0 and 3y is equal to 1200. So, point is 0, 600. And the second point is, put y is equal to 0. 2x is equal to 1200, so it is 600, 600 comma 0. And the second constraint is x plus y is equal to 400, put x is equal to 0, y is 400. So point C is 0 comma 400 and put y is equal to 0, x is equal to 400, that is 400 comma 0. And the third constraint is 2x plus 15y is equal to 900. Put x is equal to 0, 15y is equal to 900. So 900 by 15, so it is 180. So point E is 0, 180. And put y is equal to 0, 2x is equal to 900. Then x is equal to 900 by 2. So x is equal to 450. So point F is 450, 0. So here we got 6 point values. Let's draw the points. 
this is x and this is y axis, this is origin. So, highest value is here, it is 600. So, I will make it 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 and 700. 300, 400, 500, 600 and 700. So, first point is 0, 600, 600, 0. 0, 600, 600 and 600, 0. Connect these two points now. And the second point is 0, 400, 400, 0. 0, 400, 0, 400 and 400, 0. Connect these two points now. So, this is first constraint and this is second constraint. And the next point is 0, 180, 450, 0. 0, 180. So, this is 0, 180 and 450, 0. This is 450, 0. So, just connect these two points now. So, here I have connected three constraint lines. You just observe this question. So, here we have three different constraints. So, first constraint is greater than or equal to. Greater than or equal to means. So, first constraint, this is first constraint. Greater than or equal to means opposite to the region. Opposite to the origin means it is above the constraint. There is no feasible region and second constraint is less than or equal to 400. Less than or equal to 400 means it is towards the region. This means this position is towards the region and there is no common point connected here. And again the third constraint is greater than or equal to. Greater than or equal to means it is above the region. It is above the region point. So, here we have three different constraints. It is above the region, it is below the region and again above the region. Is there any feasible region here? No feasible region in this solution because we have three different constraints. Above the region, first constraint. Again, below the region, second constraint. And again, above the region, third constraint. So, this is my third constraint. So, here there is no common point connected to each other. Because we can call it, there is no feasible solution to this area. No feasible solution. No feasible solution here. No common points are connected. No feasible solution. And the next problem is, minimize z equals 20x plus 10y. We have three different constraints. So, first, Convert this into standard form and put x is equal to 0, y is equal to 20. So, point A is 0, 20 and put y is equal to 0, x is equal to 40. So, 40, 0 and second constraint is 3x plus y is equal to 30. Put x is equal to 0, y is equal to 30 and put y is equal to 0, x is equal to 10. 10, 0 and the third constraint is 4x plus 3y is equal to 6. Put x is equal to 0, y is equal to 20. 0, 20 and put y is equal to 0, x is equal to 15. So, let us draw a graph now x and y and origin. So, highest value is this 40, I will mark it as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. So, here first point is 0, 20, 40, 0. First point is 0, 20. 40, 0. Connect these two points now. And 
जीरो थर्टी टेन जीरो जीरो कॉमा थर्टी एंड टेन कॉमा जीरो कनेक्ट दीज टू पॉइंट नाउ जीरो ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन जीरो जीरो ट्वेंटी अगेन जीरो ट्वेंटी एंड फिफ्टीन कॉमा जीरो दिस इज फिफ्टीन कॉमा जीरो जस्ट कनेक्ट दिस जीरो ट्वेंटी एंड फिफ्टीन कॉमा जीरो सो हैव कनेक्टेड थ्री कंस्टेंट लाइन्स सो नाउ द फर्स्ट कंस्टेंट इज जीरो ट्वेंटी फोर्टी जीरो इज माई फर्स्ट कंस्टेंट फर्स्ट कंस्टेंट इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू फोर्टी लेस देन और इक्वल टू मीन्स इट इज टूवर्ड्स द रीजन फर्स्ट कंस्टेंट इज टूवर्ड्स द रीजन एंड द सेकेंड कंस्टेंट इज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू थर्टी सो दिस इज माई सेकेंड कंस्टेंट जीरो थर्टी थर्टी इज माई सेकेंड कंस्टेंट इट इज एबो द रीजन ऑपोजिट टू द रीजन opposite to origin means it is above the constraint and again greater than or equal to means it is opposite to the region opposite to the region means it is opposite to the origin so which area is a feasible area here so here i will take only above the constraint common point so this one is below the constraint first area is below the constraint above the constraint means this two regions so i will consider this is my feasible region because this area is feasible area so two points are connected each other so this is the first constraint this is the second constraint means above the region and this is third constraint again above the origin so these two points are connected each other so first point first region is below the constraint so i can't consider this region and i will consider this region is my feasible region so here i'll get the common point also so first common point is this one this one and this is my common point so here i got three corner points that means so first corner point is a and this is b and this is c so first corner point is 15 and here i got it is 0.5 15 and 0.5 and second corner point is 40 comma 0 and the third corner point is here it is 15 comma 0 so here we got three corner points so using this corner point you can find the minimum value so minimum value is z equal 20x plus 10y so first corner point is 15 comma 0.5 0.5 and the second corner point is 40 comma 0 15 comma 0 40 comma 0 second corner point and 15 comma 0 third corner point using this three corner points we can find the minimum value of this solution so please practice this this is assignment question please find the minimum value to this solution the next problem is maximize z equals x plus y by 2 and we have three different constraints 3x minus 2y is equal to minus 12 put x is equal to 0 and y is 6 and put y equals 0 x is minus 4 and second constraint 5x is equal to 10 x is equal to 2 and x plus y is equal to 18 put x is equal to 0 and y is 18 and put y equals 0 x is 18 comma 0 so here you have three constraints and maximization problem first find the point values and then draw a graph this is assignment question for you please try to draw this graph and the last question is maximize z equals x plus y we have two constraints 
convert this into standard form, we have two different constraints here. x plus y is equal to 1 minus 3x plus y is equal to 3. Put x is equal to 0, y is 1. Put y is equal to 0, x is 1 and put x is equal to 0, y is 3. Put y is equal to 0, x is minus 1 minus 1 comma 0. So, here maximum value is 3. I will draw the graph now. This origin 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. We have negative value also 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. First point is 0, 1, 0, comma 1 and 1, comma 0. Just connect this point and 0, 3, minus 1, 0, 0, 3 and minus 1, 0. You just connect these two points now. So, is there any feasible region? You just find out first. So, this is first constraint line and this is second constraint line. So, first constraint is less than or equal to. Less than or equal to means below the constraint. It is towards the origin. So, towards the origin but there is no feasible point and greater than or equal to 3. Greater than or equal to means above the constraint. It is opposite to the origin. So, there is no common feasible region to this solution. No feasible solution. So, here no feasible solution this point. So, in your LPP graphical method first you have to find the maximization or minimization problem and the main thing is constraints. So, first you have to see the constraint if it is greater than or equal to it is opposite to the origin. If it is less than or equal to means towards the origin then you can find the feasible point. If you get any feasible point you just find the corner points. So, corner points means using the corner points you can find the minimum value or the maximum value. So, this is your corner points. Using this corner points, you can find the minimum value or maximum value. Then, using the corner points, you can find the maximum value or minimum value. So, this is about your graphical method. So, when we can use this graphical method? So, if you get any two variables, so two decision variables, so you can use this graphical method. You can solve using this graphical method. So, if you get any three decision variables, three decision variables means how will you find this three decision variables in LPP? So, we can simplify this three decision variables using simplex method. Using simplex method, we can find three variable LPP. So, for two variables, Easily we can use this graphical method. For three variables, how to find the LPP solution? By using the simplex method. It is very important concept. Easily you can score 8 marks in simplex method. It is 8 marks question. So, easily you can score 8 marks in simplex method. If you learn this simplex method, easily you can solve two-phase method and bigger method also. So, it is a scoring topic, this linear programming, graphical method, simplex method, two-phase method and big A method. These are the problems, a very simple concept, easily you can score in this topic. My dear students, in my next session, I will discuss the very important concept called simplex method. Until then, keep watching my classes. Thank you. Bye-bye.